pressure ulcers, incidence, mortality, and financial impact. Pressure ulcers affect 3 million adults at an annual cost to the U.S. healthcare system of more than $11 billion. What's more, nearly 60,000 patients die each year as a direct result of a pressure ulcer. Indeed, pressure ulcers are a major health problem, and with increasing health care costs, an aging population, and a sharp rise in diabetes and obesity, the burden and toll of pressure ulcers will likely grow. Although providers have taken steps to slow the prevalence of pressure ulcers, a report from the Healthcare Cost and Utilization Project, HCUP, found from 1993 to 2003 a 63% increase in pressure ulcers. During the same time period, hospitalizations increased by only 11%. The incidence rates of pressure ulcers vary greatly with the healthcare setting. In hospitals, incidence rates range from 0.4% to 38%. At skilled nursing facilities, incidence rates range from 2.2% to 23.9%. In home health, incidence rates range from 0% to 17%. Pressure ulcers are a financial burden on the provider. The cost to treat pressure ulcers is up to 2.5 times greater than the cost to prevent them. In fact, the average cost to manage a single, full-thickness pressure ulcer is $70,000 and it can exceed $150,000. A significant driver is that the average length of stay in the hospital for treatment of a pressure ulcer is 13 days, three times longer than the average length of stay. To put it another way, each pressure ulcer adds an extra cost to a hospital stay of $43,180. All told, U.S. expenditures for treating pressure ulcers exceed $11 billion per year. While the financial impact is staggering, the impact to the patient can be even graver. Approximately 2 in 10 patients with a debrided wound, infection, or burn will be readmitted to a hospital and in home health, chronic skin ulcers are the number four diagnosis for hospital readmission. In addition, a patient with a pressure ulcer has a two to six times greater mortality risk than one with intact skin. Each year, nearly 60,000 patients die as a direct result of a pressure ulcer. But it doesn't need to be that way. In fact, according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, there were more than 257,000 preventable pressure ulcers in 2007, and the agency's policies reflect this finding. CMS no longer reimburses for hospital-acquired pressure ulcers, and federal regulations allow surveyors to impose fines and withhold federal reimbursement for failure to implement and document evidence-based practice for pressure ulcers. This suggests that more than ever, implementing a plan that integrates an evidence-based practice for pressure ulcer prevention should be a top priority. Such programs improve the quality of care, yield better outcomes, and help manage health care costs. SHIELD Healthcare offers educational materials and informative webinars designed to provide you with the latest news, trends, and best practices in wound management. For more information, visit us at www.shieldhealthcare.com forward slash community.